Hey, welcome back to the show. You know, I've had a weird ritual that I do with my comics ever since I was a little kid. I uh, take them and I read them in reverse order of anticipation. So I read, I want to read the one that I'm anticipating the most last. I save it for last so it'll have the most impact on me. And uh, this week, there were so many great comics to choose from uh, that I had a really hard time putting my list in order. I mean, we had... Besides the House of X X Men stuff and Fallen Angels, uh, there was Event Leviathan number six. There was the new Punisher book by uh, Garth Ennis, and and then there was the Batman's Grave, uh, which you know I, I was expecting to really love the most. I saved that one for last. The one that I read first though ended up being the biggest surprise. It was my favorite comic of the week. And uh, was really surprising in, in more than one way. And what comic am I talking about? None other than Usagi Yojimbo number six by Stan Sakai. Today on Comic Book News. Hey, welcome to the show. Today, surprise pick of the week, Usagi Yojimbo number six. I mean, it's not a surprise. I am a huge uh, Usagi Yojimbo and Stan Sakai fan. Uh, uh, I reviewed number one of this new IDW color series, and uh, and I and I've been enjoying it so far. But you know, Usagi, I've been reading it for thirty five years or so, right? I mean, it's been around that long or so, and. Uh, and, you know, some of them, it's not always what I expect uh, to be the most surprising and innovating best comic of the week. Although, occasionally, it surprises me. And it did this time. And and uh, why am I even talking about it when we go right to the million dollars? Okay, Usagi Yojimbo number six by Stan Sakai. Why was this so good? Well, first of all, it's a single issue done in one story. Uh, the Goblin of Adaki Gahara. Excuse me if I butcher that. Um, first of all, the new full color Usagi is beautiful. It's a great comic every month. You know, um, there's usually story arcs, two, three, four, five issues, and then um, some one shot issues. And I'm a big fan of the done in one single issue stories. So I knew right away this was going to be good um, or th that I would enjoy it. But what I didn't realize was how important and what a, 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 a milestone this issue is. Because this is the 35th anniversary of the very first appearance of Usagi Yojimbo. And so this story harkens back to that. Now, if you don't know Usagi, he's a ronin, a masterless samurai. We've known him from the beginning. We've seen his whole saga and battle where uh, he lost his master in battle and uh, you know vowed to, uh, to avenge him and carry on uh, over the years. And uh, in this one, we get a return to that battle. And we get to see a really intense battle. And Usagi revisiting this place reminds him of the battle and the, the really small claustrophobic panels. Very unusual in Usagi, uh, you know, like really, uh, you know, work to show like a the, the, the frantic action, the fog of war, I guess. And anyway, it's a it's a fantastic battle, and uh, his master's head is cut off at, when they're betrayed by one of their uh, comrades. And uh, and you know, rather than let the head be captured and like put on display and be dishonored for his master, Usagi grabs the head and like berserker rage. Gets manages to get away from this huge army that had him totally overwhelmed, and he finds a spot to like protect the head. And now years later, he's returning there. He's found the head, and he's thinking about this. And he's like, "Look, though I've always been tempted, I've I've always remained loyal. I've not entered into another lord's service, but circumstances and personal relationships have changed. I ask to be released from my vows to you." And just then, he he senses something like somebody is there, but he doesn't know who. Um, anyway, and it starts fall snowing unseasonably early. And we get for some beautiful Usagi scenery. I mean, as much as I love the black and white stuff, it really is great to look at in color. I think this is going to bring a whole new life to Usagi and a whole new audience. Maybe they'll even go back and recolor some of the old stuff. It's 
you know tom luth beautiful colors anyway he comes across a temple with a with a widow in it classic kind of usagi stuff he's staying there does she have some secrets maybe there'll be a twist to this there probably will be and uh in the middle of the night they're attacked by this crazy beast who it turns out is like the reincarnation of uh the guy who betrayed them uh on that battle years ago and is the husband to this to the widow right and that's the that's the big twist sorry sorry spoiler alert um anyway it's pretty cool knockdown drag out samurai action it's one of the things i love about usagi okay kids love it kids read it it's recommended by teachers and stuff because uh it, it has historical lessons feudal japan and everything else but kids wouldn't read it if it wasn't really good and man sa samurai who doesn't love samurai battles right and but like anything else if you're going to be realistic about samurai battles it's going to get bloody man so there is bloody action and a lot of stabbings in pretty much every issue of usagi ojimbo more or less and that's great um and anyway we finally get a re some resolution on the story and as as uh uh usagi uh of course finishes that finishes off the demon and the secrets of the old lady are revealed etc etc and usagi's like look i release you you were a loyal samurai's wife so you have nothing to worry about i'm not going to kill you or anything in fact you should, you're released from your duties now go be free and live happily and he's like i've been i've been uh you know struggling with ideas about loyalty myself lately I'm like that's the end um this will lead in, I'm sure, to ongoing storylines and Usagi and stuff. But just what a simple single done in one. Next issue, we got uh, Jen, Gen, the 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 uh, bounty hunter, uh, Rhino with the cutoff horn, classic Usagi character. <clears throat> and anyway, I got here and I was like, wow, that was great. I really loved it. It reminded me of the early stuff. And that's when I turned the page, and uh, got to read this afterward by Stan Sakai. He always talks about the historical references. Uh, in Usagi, and in this one, the one of the big historical references, it's been 35 years since the first appearance of Usagi in uh, Albedo number two. Uh, and so, uh, uh, I've got um, that here as well to take a look at. This is the original cover, and uh, the, the, the new one had this cover, and... Um, Actually, there was a bunch of different variant covers that are really pretty cool. I usually really, you know, don't like variant covers. Not not a big fan of the idea. But uh, let's let me. Sorry, let's go right back to the Million Dollar Comics can for a second. Because I wanted to show these. Some of these are cooler than others. These these not so cool. These are like retailer like exclusive ones. Big deal. A uh, lightning strike exclusive, but I'm not a big fan. Torpedo Comics. These are like retailer exclusive ones. But this one I'm really loving. The um, By Julie Sakai. I don't know if she's related to Stan. But it's a Dogo Chibi Sakai limited edition exclusive. Or Chibi exclusive. And then this super limited Stan Sakai exclusive. That's really, really close to that original Albedo number one. That's the one I really want. I wish that was the cover of this book. But I'll take this. This was pretty close. Um, I, enjoyable. Pick of the week. I was surprised. I had so many, such high hopes for Batman's Grave, which I liked. But, man, I was not blown away by it the way I was by Usagi number six. So, great job, Stan. You've always, you're a master. You've still got it. And uh, let's hope for 35 more years of Usagi Yojimbo. And uh, you know what? Let's also hope for a lot of more years of comic book news, right? Because uh, uh, it's only been about, well, I don't know, six, seven months or so since this channel started. But we're growing and growing and growing. People like you are watching. Now, I'm going to get less views on this video. There's no X-Men. There's no Batman in this. Uh, this is not the most popular comic in the world. But you know what? If you're watching this, you're one of the right people. You're one of the people I want to be watching this. And you're one of the people I want to hear from in the comments section below. So if you haven't already, make sure to you're subscribed to this channel. 
Uh, hit like if you like the video and ring that bell if you want notifications and new stuff. Chime in on the comics. Uh, what do you think about Usagi Yojimbo? Anybody out there got a copy of Albedo number two? That's a super rare, super expensive, hard to find uh, indie comics, uh, uh, grail type comic from the 80s. So if you see one, you can find them out there. I've seen them in quarter bins before. So keep watching, keep looking for those, keep watching these videos. And we'll see you next time. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.